it used to get bullied like terrible like them girls ate me up like <laughs> them girls ate me up welcome or welcome back here on my channel if you're new what's up my name is cynthia go ahead and hit that subscribe button and definitely click the bell while you at it so you can be notified here on my channel before we get into what today's video is about i just want to say happy 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 valentine's day uh today is valentine's day that i'm recording this so it should be up the following week after i just want to say i appreciate you i love you and we cross paths for a reason so you better stay here order you some food okay because all you need is me and you time okay me it's me and you today okay it's me and you today's video is like a q and a i surprisingly don't have a q and a on my channel i don't know why i've been doing youtube for like over three years i haven't told you guys much about me like i bring you guys in my life and it's weird that you guys don't really know know me so i asked you guys on my instagram to give me some questions or assumptions advice anything like that and that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I'm gonna try to take some Valentine's Day pictures today. I really want to take them outside, but Virginia's weather is like in the 20s, 30s today. Uh, do I really want to catch a cold to suffer for these Instagram pictures? Maybe, maybe not. I might also take them inside. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But we're going to get started on this makeup. If you guys see me looking this way, my mirror is here. But I'm going to try to keep looking into the camera for you guys. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I use this dip pomade. And the first question is, do you know what you will study in college? Uh, yes, I do know what I'm going to study in college. I want to go into the STEM program. So, all my life, I've been good at doing math. It was weird. I don't know why. And then I started falling in love with science because it also had math involved. And in the hands-on like experiments we got to do in class, I really started to fall in love with that. Seeing a lot of people in college struggle with biology, so now I'm like overthinking it. So really I'm trying to major in biology overall. Currently in school, I am taking AP Bio and right now I suck. And on top of that, I hear a lot of people in college tend to change their majors, especially biology majors, uh, which is really scaring me right now. Um, I know my eyebrows look boxy right now. Trust the process, okay? Um, <laughs> then for a minor, depending on what college I go to, I want to minor in forensic science or um, criminal justice and that takes me into the next question is what my career or what type of career path i'm trying to go for so i want to be a forensic scientist i really want to be um a forensic scientist um analyst dna analyst they do like the dna things like fingerprints blood all of that i've been into forensic science since i was little y'all like when i tell you scooby-doo y'all probably laugh right now but when i tell you scooby-doo was my show when i was little whew, boy i could tell you i think i memorized all the episodes it's pretty bad but since i was little i used to watch scooby-doo and i just always i don't know something about the excitement of fighting who like done the crime was it for me next question is what is my dream college so I'm gonna be quite honest I do not have a dream college I don't have a college that oh my family like a legacy in my family that everybody went to a certain college or um a college that like this is the only college I went to I don't want to go to no other college it's just that college I haven't experienced that um I really just want to go to a good college with a great biology program a college that I could get scholarships from or get like my money worth if that makes sense i want to go to a college that is in the south especially like in the georgia florida area my dad lives in georgia and i have some family in florida so i'm looking for colleges there i'm not closed on the idea of virginia colleges it's just virginia is it's not for me i've been here all my life well majority of my life I also spent years in georgia before i came here 
but I need a new a new scenery something Virginia is just too slow paced for me and like other places are a little bit too fast I feel like Georgia is like it has a medium of both now I'm going into what my Fenty primer I'm back into this dream college thing I just don't have a dream college y'all um I will tell you my top say my top three so I'm gonna go to Georgia State they have a great biology program and I know some a couple people there and they said it's really good I'll be right back I don't know where I left off. I just ran to the bathroom to get something. So what was I was saying? Oh, Georgia State, they do a lot of things with their students. And I know a couple of people that go there and they said they love the biology program they're in. Um, they do have um they do have scholarships at Georgia State. The only thing about Georgia State that I'm iffy about is that their campus, they don't really have a campus, it's just boom. Georgia State and you gotta walk here walk there and you're running into people that don't even like go to your school so that's like my only concern second option I do want to go to a HBCU that's the thing I really want to go to a HBCU but HBCUs they really don't give out scholarships which kills me during my sophomore and junior year I was obsessed with Clark Atlanta like I wanted to go there like if I didn't go there I felt like I was gonna die but then over like time I was like Clark Atlanta they don't do scholarships I don't know I, I love I really want to go to HBCU because um, I like to be around successful black people but here how unorganized they are their graduation um, rates is really low y'all like uh, especially that I'm trying to go into the stem field I need to go to a college that I know be good for me. I'll put Clark Atlanta as my third. I know I'm going out of order, but um, Georgia State is still my top. And then my second, I would definitely say Fame U, which is in Florida. I would definitely say that is my second because they are a great HBCU that checks it off. Then on top of that is in the South that checks that off on top of that their focus on like stem fields and stuff like that so that definitely like that should sell me you know but the thing is i really want to be in georgia because like i said uh the thing about atlanta i'll be down the street for my dad my grandparents i'm not trying to say i want to live i'm gonna live on campus but still like I want to be around my family family I have like my aunt and my uncle they live in Florida so I'll be able to do that and also that is located in Tallahassee so I would be able to drive back to Atlanta and stuff because I believe it's like two three hours from Atlanta so I feel like that's a good deal but those are my top three at the moment another question is how old am i and like what's my birthday so if you guys don't know your girl is legal i am one eight big one eight don't play with me 18 legal baby okay don't play and my birthday is december 16th 2003 early 2000 baby okay and if you guys haven't checked out for my birthday i went to jamaica this year so beautiful highly recommend going booking a flight to jamaica because i wish i could stay there at this moment next question is what's my favorite color my favorite color well actually i love all blues but my favorite color has to be the midnight blue if you guys don't know it's not really i want to say it's navy blue it's not navy blue but it's kind of close to navy blue with a like royal blue in it i don't know how to explain it but that's my favorite color next question is what is my favorite artist if y'all don't know a girl is obsessed with summer walker like y'all it summer summer baby 
I love you so much, girl. I'll never hate on you. I know a lot of people, they was coming at you over bubbles, everything. Y'all be so quick to run that summer train. Like, nah, y'all was so against my sis. And now y'all trying to come back. No. Summer Walker all day, every day. Fun fact, I went to one of, she was like the only person I went to a concert for. Like y'all, I do not get out the house. That That's another thing. I am a homebody. I am a homebody. I'm trying to think. I think it was my 16th birthday. My 16th or 17th birthday, um, Summer Walker, she came out with, you know, the still, not still over it, but um, over it album. And she, that's when she was doing shows and stuff. And she canceled. Well, initially, I was just going to go to a concert for my birthday. It was my first concert ever. And then she came out with the whole anxiety thing. And I understand that because I personally go through anxiety. So I know how that is. Um, but it, it was, like, frustrating a lot of people, which I don't understand. Like, if you guys have anxiety, you will understand. It's not that easy, y'all. Like, it's not that easy. I'm going in with my Fenty um, Beauty, what is this called? Hydrated and Longwear Foundation. But um, people who don't have anxiety love to put their two cents into everything, which I don't understand personally. Because y'all don't know how it feels. Like, especially anxiety attacks, y'all. That is not for the week. But going back into this walkers thing she canceled her um performance in virginia which i was so so heartbroken like y'all don't understand how much i love summer walker like it, it's not even funny and i was like dang i i guess i'm not gonna do nothing for my birthday because that was my only celebration it wasn't around my birthday i mean it was around my birthday but it wasn't on the exact like date of my birthday so I was like, oh, I'm just going to do this for my birthday. And then, like, for, like, on my actual birthday, I'll just, you know, go out to eat or something like that. But she canceled it, and I was, like, so heartbroken. And then during, like, I think it was, was it? I think it was around Christmas, my Christmas break that year. My dad, I, I go down to see my dad, like, Christmas, the summertime and all of that. And my dad surprised me with VIP tickets to Summer Walker. And y'all, I have this video. She looked at me like I I almost like died. Like, she is my idol. I love her. She's like the artist that keeps it real. She doesn't go by all these artists. One thing about Summer Walker, I do her hair however she wants to do. And what? Nobody's going to say nothing about her because she don't curve and don't curve. Okay. Next question is, do I have siblings? Yes, I do do i am the only girl my mom has two sons and then of course is me i am the youngest i have two older brothers little child he is 21 and then the other one he is in his 30s i believe i believe he's in his 30s if he's watching this i'm sorry i don't remember everybody's age okay next question is do i want a tattoo yes let's be honest yes i want a tattoo who don't want a tattoo let's be honest i want to be tatted up tatted up you feel me i really want a spine tattoo i know y'all probably like cynthia you're crazy spine tattoo you're gonna die well listen here i do what i want let me stop <laughs> but um i really want a spine tattoo i already have a tattoo idea I don't know if I want to tell you guys because I don't know if somebody's going to steal it. It's a real deep like meaning behind it. And if you guys don't know, one of my hobbies, I do um, do art on the low. Well, not really on the low. I go to a whole high school for art, which I want to drop out right now. But I did it during all these other three years, so I might as well go through it. Yeah, I really want a spine tattoo. That's what I want my first tattoo to be. Also, I have another idea uh, I want to get. But the thing is, the one other ones that I want, I've seen other people have. But the one that I truly want, which is the spine tattoo, that's like a quote and like everything that I articulated on my own. So that's why I really want to do it. If you guys don't know, uh, Janae Aiko, she did this song called Ways um it's abbreviation for why aren't you smiling 
want to get it on my arm somewhere not too like up since you know forensic scientists they go to courts and stuff to testify the evidence they have for like different situations but i want to get it on my um for forearm or somewhere on my arm and i want to get a semicolon uh clearly if you guys know what a semicolon means you guys can like probably add the pieces together so that's one of my tattoo ideas but everybody got that i also want to get 111 somewhere i don't want to get it on my neck because like i said testifier in court you're not supposed to be really showing your tattoos and stuff like that so I might get it behind my ear. I don't know, but I want to get one 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 because it's all about like your intuition, following your intuition. And one thing about me, anxiety really loves to fool me. It loves to be a trickster. I need to learn that I know what's best for myself and to follow my gut feeling. And one thing about my anxiety, they love to trick me. So I really love 111 and also that's a fluent angel number I see all the time. Another person asked me um, how did I get into cheering. Um, cheering I've been doing my whole life. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a little short of story time. I used to get bullied like terrible. Like them girls ate me up. Like <laughs> them girls ate me up. Oh, like when I tell you guys, them girls ate me up. They ate me up in school. And I didn't have friends like that. Well, I had like a good like one, two friends um, growing up. But everybody else, they used to pick on me. I used to get bullied a lot. And my mom seen how much like I didn't have friends. I was always coming to her crying about how my day was, what the girls did to me that day because child they hated me like i'm truly a nice person i don't know why i had that much hatred in my childhood and my mom just seen like how down i was how i wanted to make friends and how much like i lack confidence because of you know the evil children evil evil children she got me into this my mom was in the navy at the time she got me into this naval base cheer team and y'all i loved it like i made friends everybody was nice to me i found confidence it was something that took the weight off my whole day like i'll have a whole bad day at school and then i can come to that little cheer program the coach was nice the girls there was nice it was all different but yeah that's how i got into cheering another question is why i don't see myself persuading a art type of career um first of all the school that i go to i don't know if i said this in earlier earlier in this video so when i started high school i was accepted in this visual arts academy which is the high school i go to now before then i truly wanted to become um, a painter like i seen myself painting and all of that jazz but throughout the years i just realized like this isn't for me this was because it was a hobby it was a great way for me to like deal with my depression and stuff like that so i just felt like art was more so of like a thing i do more a hobby wise but i won't lie um i can see myself doing like if this stem type of league doesn't go my way i could definitely see myself doing like film or being like a film editor type of thing also in the arts so i could definitely see myself doing that but i just fell out of love with art especially the academy was more wrapped around um making art like forcing you to make art and it wasn't art that like you love like you could ask anybody in that academy we like making art because it looks good like we didn't put thought into it our best work is art that we didn't have like meanings about but the academy they like point fingers on like you could do better you need to do this you need to stay within this concept or this theme um i've seen that before and 
I mean, don't get me wrong. It's just not a thing for me. Like, I, <laughs> I've just graduated from this arts academy just so I can say I did it. But before I came into the academy, I loved doing art. And now that I'm in the academy, I, I would cry. I would cry looking at my artwork. Like, next question is, why did I start YouTube? I started YouTube just to like document my life really and like my experience I used to use it as like a diary like a virtual like a visual diary before like this whole like campaign of visual diaries like popped up i used to upload private videos and just be like this is how my day went it was just a great way for me to like express um my depression and anxiety from the day another question is what is my favorite movie so my favorite movie is called divergent if you guys haven't watched it i 10 out of 10 recommend divergent is about a society well me how i seen it i seen that it was like a society how they put you in a box and you have to be that and there's a couple of people that had abilities to like break out of that box if that makes sense and they didn't want that they want like a controlled society it made me really look at earth like what happens if god just put us all on this earth to see how it work out like it just made me question a lot of things which i really love um i really don't like the sequel versions i only like the first one <laughs> but that's really my favorite movie i 10 out of 10 recommend to watch it do i have any allergies yes i do i have i am allergic y'all like y'all gonna laugh at this i am allergic to chocolate and the weird thing is i'm only allergic to like hershey chocolate well so when i eat chocolate depending on like i don't know because i wouldn't say only hershey chocolate it really depends on what chocolate and i can't say only real chocolate because i have real chocolate before and i didn't get the allergy it's just something with hershey like no matter what type of hershey brand or whatever i got from hershey that thing will mess up my tongue i get the geographic tongue so like the patchy tongue when i have chocolate or like if you guys ever ate like a lot of pineapples that's what i get I like stinging and then like your tongue looks like it's all patchy that's what i get from chocolate and also i'm lactose intolerant which won't stop me because one thing about me i'm finna have some ice cream i love ice cream i refuse to get lactose ice cream what is that like what why would they make that what is my sign so like i said um i am a sagittarius you know december 16th but my rising i am a gemini and then my moon is a virgo moon what are your best characteristics my best characteristic i would definitely say is I'm a peacemaker. I always want to shine like positivity on things, no matter like how bad things are. Another thing I will say is um, going into that, I'm really like kind-hearted. What's another best characteristic I have? Um, I don't know. I think those two are like my best, to be honest. Okay, next question is, what is my biggest fear? My biggest fear so i'm not afraid of heights let me just tell you guys that i'm not afraid of heights but my biggest fear is falling to my death bungee jumping i think that's the only activity that will like really like take me out for a loop so yeah so i think i'm done with my makeup i'm gonna put lip gloss on later i'm gonna do my hair off camera and i'm gonna put on this dress um i'm gonna try like i told you guys i'm gonna try to take pictures outside I'm, I'm gonna be freezing my butt off though that's the thing i'm gonna be right back with you guys i'm gonna do this hair and put on this dress and i will give you guys like the final look so i'll be right back okay guys so i am back i did like the free part on my hair um i didn't put no product in because my hair is dirty i ain't got time for it so it can do whatever it wants to do i'm wearing this buddy con square top neck type of thing i got this from zaffle i have a zaffle haul here on my channel which i wore it in so go ahead and check out that video and then for the shoes i'm wearing these 
sock boots they're pretty they're the same color as this dress and i'm gonna put these on i got these from shein by the way this is also in a shein haul here on my channel as well but that's what i'm gonna wear and i'm gonna try to get um i bought my mom and my nana flowers i know that's kind of rude but i'm gonna try to um hold their flowers while i take these photos just so it can add like a little pop to this outfit but if i don't get pictures oh well i got cute and i got some content in for you guys but i hope you guys enjoy this get ready with me to stay at home um q a type of thing that i did today i hope you guys enjoy your valentine's day any requested videos you guys have leave a comment down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new if you haven't already you will love it here and put those bell notifications while you're at it um, i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next week's video. Bye loves. Ooh.